Straight away, women's soul, defend yourselves at all times and the best luck to you all. Touch gloves. Day two minute round, super bantamweight contest, uh, catch rate of 123 and a half pounds. Ellie Scott in the top left of your screen. In the black shorts, our opponent from Spain, Eva Cantos, in red. Just jabbing off the feint there. She means business, Chris. Straight to centre ring. Very, very positive start from Scotney. Putting them together well. Leading with the right hand, coming back with the left uppercut. Aggressive on that front foot, isn't she? Distance control has always been one of her attributes. Great balance. The shots well was long time member of GB Boxing, was at 57 kilos. Weight that was added to the women's division in Tokyo, along with welterweight. Tough division though, Karis Artis, the number one, came away with a bronze medal from the games. Two very good women also on development, Hannah Robinson from Berkeley, Raven Chapman as well, both of whom Scott and he's been sparring with in this camp. Chapman making a separate second outing as a, a pro on the Galahad Martinez undercard. Sheffield, November 13th, live on the zone as well. Decent crop of female fighters coming through from the amateurs into the professional ranks around this kind of weight division. Scott, he just lands a right hand, shortens the shots up as the two get in close. Yeah, she really is a good fighter, Chris. Can fight at range in close, a good variation, works the body well, comes back upstairs. She's aggressive, she moves her head really well. She's enjoying this. She's setting the traps there, trying to get a reaction with that left hook to the head, then dropping it to the body. Good tempo as well. Little counter right hand, just snuck in from Cantos to the body. And again. fight of the broadcast at seven o'clock local time just over an hour's time is Yusuf Kamari and Jorge Castaneda two young lions at uh, super featherweight who need a victory over each other and represent a similar level of threat to the other in order to progress and become part of that chasing pack further up the ladder it's going to be explosive ten rounds to kick things off Transatlantic clash, Kamari and Castaneda readying themselves for battle in just over an hour's time. Scotney in full control in that first round of eight. And pacing herself as much as anything tonight will, will be, of course, part of the, uh, the learning experience. Second the first eight round of it. Yeah, yeah. But going by that first round, she meant business. It was, uh, it was set at a very good tempo. Eager to get in there and impress. It's been a while. A very good opening round from, from Ellie Scottney. She's enjoyed it. She looks spiteful. And again, coming out in the second round, full of aggression and spite in her shots. She means business this evening. Long periods of inactivity in the amateurs with hand injuries and various ailments. She had to rely on her, her faith and her patience that things would start to, to come together and that her talent and hard work would shine through it. It's starting to, to pay dividends now. Stiff jab, right hand, then shortens up the left foot, just jabs off the back of that combination, snaps the head back of a Spanish opponent. Cantos, right hand to the body, just countered by a little check left hook there from Scotney. She's re really making Eva Cantos work with her feet and she's trying to fire back. Credit to, to Cantos, but she's coming coming off second best in these exchanges. Ellie Scottney really looking spiteful. Eva Cantos has no idea what's coming away. You know, she changes the level so well with the shots. Ellie Scottney. You don't have to come into the head or the body. She disguises them really well. Throws the shots with real speed. 
in spite, like I've said. Just jabbing off that little twitch with the head, little faint. Santos tries to work away to the body. Scott needs, disappears, and the left hook whistles by. Scoops a nice right hand. Ian Lowe and already the 10 second clap of sounds. Left hook, right hand, just to put a punctuation mark on a very good second round for the Catford fighter. So again, we see Eddie Scottney on the front foot, the aggressor. Mixing the shots up, head and body, finishing on a nice jab there, pushes the head back of Eva Cantos, who credit to her, she's managed to take the sting out of shots, she's moved well, but she's been on the end of a receiving, uh, she's been on the receiving end of two good rounds from Eddie Scott here. To the third we go, Scotney immediately holding centre ring. Cantus has taken the shots well so far. Sorry, yeah, Gary. it'd be interesting to see if Eva Cantus can keep this movement up. She's been forced to move an awful lot to stay away from any Scotney. So if she can keep this pace going, any Scotney, it'd be interesting to see if Eva Cantus can maintain this because she's under pressure. Good short right hand there from Ellie Scottney. Counter's picking a couple of nice shots just off the lateral movement, but now Scottney just backs her up with a jab again. Shorts the left hook up to the body, just caught one. Up the middle there, just the left hook. Yeah, just a little reminder for me, the Cantos there, just to let her know I'm still in this fight. She has to be careful, he's getting it, because now and again, as we just see here from Eva Cantos, she does let a couple of wild shots go. Just composing herself, and that's a lovely right hand from Eddie Scottney. Found the range with that shot over the left hand of Eva Cantos. Yeah, just a little bit low, wasn't it? She was in range. Jab to the body from Scottney there. Yeah, I like that from Eddie Scottney, and I like it when I see fighters do that. Sometimes finishing on the jab just tr to maintain that distance, control the the range with that lead hand. That's exactly what we see from Eddie Scottney there, boxing nicely. And when Cantos leads off and she does land cuffing shots, Scottney is always there for the return, and the returns are cleaner and crisper. Inches back. No, she, she's back to another round. It's not a deep division, this, internationally. 122 pounds. Scotney already looks to have the kind of quality that she'll need to, to move up the ranking, certainly above this kind of level. Yeah, without a doubt, Chris, she's uh, she's a very good fighter on one. I think, you know, like you pointed out at the beginning, it's just rounds and experience that is lacking from, from Ellie Scottney. But when you look at these performances, they're, they're, they're very accomplished and she does an awful lot well. Moves good on the front foot, cuts the ring down, you know, she works the head, body, sets traps. Fully focused, looks in good condition from the, the pace she set out at. So, like I said, got a very, very bright future in front of her. Been working with uh, Duncan and Gilby, who you may have just caught in the corner there as well. Tall figure. It's a lot of the uh, the S&C work for Shane McGuigan's fighters, Lawrence Acoli. I was working with Lawrence Acoli for a couple of years. I seem to remember meeting them, and he said she's one of the most enjoyable athletes he's ever worked with across any sport. Great energy and has made good progress in the gym as well. Looking physically stronger here. Cantos, stiff jab just to try and back Scotney up for a moment. Rips to the body. 
Keeps the right hand high for the left hook return. It's not a bad opponent at all, Cantos. The sharpness, the precision, the way Scotney puts her hands together, the balance that she shows, always ready for the return when Cantos does step to her. It's just been the difference here. You can see now, like I was talking about, the, the movement. She's sort of opting to try and plant her feet a bit more, Eva Cantos. Just fired a little corkscrew jab up the middle moments ago. One, two, just glances off the gloves. Let's see just a little spell of about 20 seconds behind the jab for Ellie Scottney. She's just uh, lost her range ever so slightly. Just get behind that jab, move your head, and then let these big shots go. Credit to Eva Campos having a go from the centre of the ring there. She's doing all the right things, Cantos. She's taking her head off the line before the yeah, jab. She's she just is. trying to offer different looks, varieties, decent. The edge in hand speed and, and reflexes precision is just uh, is, is more and more evident as the fight rolls on. Slightly messy round that. And he's got to get in the better of it, but Diva Cantos was, was throwing some big wild shots and there was a couple of clinches come off of that. But she's enjoying this, Ellie Scott, the final good tempo. Working well behind the jab, mixing it up to, to the body. Rounds are valuable for, you know, being out the ring for a little while. She wants to be active, so every round that goes by is, uh, is another experience. Thank you. Second round five. into the fifth round and hard to see Scotney with anything but a commanding lead so far just with that left hand low just looks for the jab Scotney comes over the top of the right hand exchange of left hands she's looking to let her hands go a bit more either can Austin, uh, and sort of come forward on the front foot so this is where the faint, the faint comes into play faint if I get either can to come forward then counter with a good sharp shot that she throws any Scotney lovely little lay back in and, and out, just yeah. let, draw her onto the left hand position has been good when Cantos has attacked upstairs. More authority on the jab, winning the battle of, of the lead hand. The two miss each other and just pivot round in centre ring. That's it. This is work behind the jab. It's got a beautiful jab, Ellie Scottney. So have a little spell behind the jab. Just sets everything up. So eager to, to impress Ellie Scottney. You can, you can feel that from her this evening. Shortening shots up well when they get up close as well. Good short right hand. As Eva Cantos come in, she took it well. Nice little bounce in the step of Ellie Scottney. Good work from Eva Cantos though, working the body well. She's far from finished, letting her hands go. Good body shot. Work well to the body with the right hand there, yeah, did she? she has. An, an awkward kind of style, Eva Canos. She looks as if she carries her chin high, she plods forward, but then all of a sudden she'll pounce forward with a long jab, followed by a long right hand to the body. Eva Canos is best round for me. Yeah, Scotty's tempo's just dropped a little, isn't, isn't it? Just trying to dictate behind the left hand to give herself a breather, but just let Cantos back into, not the fight, but certainly that round a little bit, and uh, decent showing from the Spanish fighter. Ring magazine published their inaugural women's pound for pound ratings last summer. They've got Taylor ahead of Clarissa Shields, pound for pound, and in the 122 pound division, the ring belt is vacant. They're 
number one fighter, Tijuana's Jackie Nava, who's fighting there. Number five, Mariana Juarez in brilliant all Mexico clash for the Ring Magazine belt this weekend. In fact, they can find the Ring Magazine belt isn't on the line. There's Craig Richards back in action, second on the bill on the zone around the world after a brilliant showing against Dimitri Bivol earlier on this year. There is his opponent, Marek Matia. Ready to prove that he can spring an upset and move on towards world level. Scotty back is entering. She's up the tempo again, back in control. Yeah, just calling for a bit more rhythm behind that jab. Freddie Scottney up and down with it. Try and set a few more traps. Jab to the body, followed by the right hand. At times, she doesn't need to go looking for either Katazu. Now, it's starting to let her hands go, trying to close the gap herself. Sort of launches in with a big wide right hand to the body. So a few feints might be able to trigger that off from Ellie Scottney and then come back with the counters. Eva Kandos, I get the impression she feels she's growing into this contest. Yeah, and I think I think that's the sign of someone that's been active. As I say, she's had three fights since July. She's been in the gym constantly. In Petrera and Alicante, where she lives and trains. And see she's well conditioned. Scott just steps in with another stiff jab. We say it time and time again, these two minute rounds really do fly by. Sixth round already. Ali Scott needs set a, a high tempo. Just rolls under the long left hook of Kantos, back on the jab. Kantos right hand to the body and that always triggers that catch left hook response from Scott. He has done a couple of times with just the right hand as Kantos' left was low. Better this from Scottney. Closing out round six well. Fought in, inside the pocket a bit more in that round. Even Cantos did move, but at times opting to stay in the middle there and having some success. She doesn't look phased at all, under pressure. Just want to see this lady just get behind the jab a bit more because when she does, it's a, it's a beautiful shot. It just sets everything else up. Two rounds left, and as you say, Eva Cantos just maybe feeling the last couple of rounds have been a little bit closer and a little bit more competitive. She can really start to get stuck in here. She may give herself a chance because Scotney was dominant through the first four. And Cantos is really sitting down on these left hooks, yeah. Darren. And she was annoyed with herself there. She was caught with a three punch combination by Scotney, and she sort of shook her head to say, you know, why have I been caught with those shots? She feels she's really grown into this contest. She started the this round positively but now being pushed back by Ellie Scotney. Just getting caught on the turn as she drifts around to her left hand side with that right hand over the top from Scotney when she's a little bit close and she tries to exit. She's trying to put a dent in the cap for fighter. No joy so far. Lovely right hand inside the left hook there from Scotney. Fight really heating up here. With a round and a half to go. Scotty works the, the left hand flank with her right hand. Cantos trying to fire back with oh, missing shot. five or six punches, and Scotty replies with one sharp return up the middle. Oh, 
And it's volume versus quality here. Cantos starting to look a little bit faded, a little bit jaded. The hand speed is slow. Scotney's is still there. Good action. She's made Cantos work. She's made the space small. She's taken shots on the gloves. Come back with clear, crisp singles for the judges who are sat ringside. Stiff jab again. Pushes Cantos back to the ropes. Steps across. It just keeps her there. Good, good round for Ellie Scottney. And well, if a Cantos has decided to to come out and really try and stick it on yes, her yes. and create an impression, but unfortunately had almost the reverse effect as the round wore on. The most entertaining round of the fight for me, Eva Cantlos, you know, she, she feels she's growing into the fight, but that was good stuff from Ellie Scott, and he looks spiteful inside. Shortening up the shots well. You see this this flurry of punches all coming oh, off the, yeah. the gloves, the inside, and then Scottney just waiting for the perfect moment to unfurl one up the middle. But again, you talk about the learning, the development of, of a fighter, the kind of things that you need to have in terms of opponents, in terms of questions asked. This has been just about spot on for her fourth contest. Yeah, absolutely, Chris. Eva Kalos definitely played her part in this contest. She's done well, she's grown into the contest. Though she's been second best, she's, uh, she's done a lot, a lot better in the last few rounds than she did in the first couple. That's for sure, and yeah, going back to, to Ellis Scottney, she will definitely learn from this. You know, you won't have it your own way all the time. There's going to be opponents that are awkward, not your conventional kind of styles. You see Eva Campus there, she has a weird way of moving, very unorthodox. And when you sort of fought at the level as an amateur as Ellis Scottney does, you don't really come across opponents like this. So when you turn pro and then you're fighting these kind of opponents, they do throw you ever so slightly. Yeah, now the pressure starting to take its toll. Scotney going through the gears, stepping on Cantos, left hook, she's just exited a little bit tall and backed up in a straight line. Scotney just caught her on the way out, pushes her back into the corner, looking to go to work. Right hand upstairs. Cantos works the right hand to the body off the jab. It's been a good shot for Eva Cantos, that right to the body. We said it earlier, but it has. She's uh, she's landed it numerous times, and I'm sure Eddie Scotney will fill those tomorrow morning. Really good back and forth action. And Cantos has been there all night, just the last round. She looked as though she might be starting to, to fade, but hand speed has slowed a little, but she's still there, still throwing. Blood to the nose of Ellie Scottney now. Credit to Eva Cantos. She has not stopped either. From the first bell, this really has been set at a very good pace. Well, Scotney could have easily just stepped off and, and been negative in this final round. She's done enough at this point, but she's decided to, to step in, trade, and maybe make things a little bit messy. Maybe been caught with one or two shots. She didn't need to be, but it's the hallmark of, of a fighter, somebody that wants to come and fight, wants to bring a little bit of excitement, and she's put on a really, really good display, and no doubt Shane McGuigan will be pleased with what he's seen tonight, and we will see the kind of improvements and adjustments that he makes with her as the, the months and years progress, but very, very good first showing under McGuigan for Ellie Scottney, and no doubt she'll have her hand raised when we go to the scorecards. Yes, she boxed well. There was a lot to like from, from Ellie Scottney. Firstly, I, I would also say uh, Eva Candles definitely played her part there, and she done well, and she rose her arms at the end Absolutely. there, and I can understand why in some respects, because she did come in to the contest after, you know, a good four or five rounds and she let her hands go she landed some good shots herself but the quality and the aggression and uh, and the, i guess the volume of shots that landed come from any scotney it was a good contest a good learning fight for her she'll be over the moon that she's got that one in the bag ellie fighters have come to centering david diamante is behind them with the scorecards it's head over for the official result
there is the fight card coming up on the zone. Yusuf Kamari, Jorge Castaneda, open proceedings. Craig Richards back in action for the first time since that really good performance against Dimitri Bivol. Johnny Fisher and Alvaro Torres who battle the heavyweight. And Alan Babich and Eric Molina, heavyweight chief support here in London.